So if anything, what I should probably do is honestly, is I should set a limit. So I did, I set a limit. Long position. D for four. Stop level, I got it at three, four, three, zero. And then come on, come on. See, try to hit this what well, at least double extension. Double extension in three five zero sixty. And three three five zero six five. Still got time. I still got an hour and a half before. The pound officially makes its move. And who knows? It could be a nasty one. It could just, just dive directly down through here. But I just really, really doubt it. It looks like it's went up. It's came back, I tried to re, it's rebalanced somewhat, you know, it's came back, it's rebalanced, it's came back, it's rebalanced. Came up to a high, it came up, everybody's thinking this is resistance right now, that's what, that's what I love about smart money, everybody's thinking this, this is resistance, sell, 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 sell. So many people selling on this right now. And it's just not the smart thing to do. Looks like the Euro USD. Well, it looks like it. Uh
see what I'm seeing here now is this candle here Order blocks cut through candles. A couple different buy points for your USD. Let's check out gold, shall we? forget we need to check it off so 4x factory oh yeah we got a lot of red can or a lot of red uh, a lot of red stuff going on with the euro huh in between 2 and 2 and 3 a.m. which could also be good things Especially if their manufacturing is coming back. Which I'm not for sure if it is. But we'll be finding her out around then. In seven in the mornings and we got Canadian stuff. We got pound stuff coming up soon. And then pound stuff coming up after the Euro stuff. So we got all kinds of stuff going on. I usually try not to think too much about the f that fundamentals because honestly the technicals outweigh it. the gold probably gonna be doing the same so let's check out the dollar again going back down
question is, did... Okay. I forgot I'm on the one minute, though. Let's see. In the one minute, it looks like it breaks a high. If you get under the one hour... It can, it really doesn't break a structure high, you know. It would have to come up here and broke something like this for it to make a difference, make a huge, huge difference. So, to me, this just looks like a pullback. And then the dollar is going to continue falling. Looks like it came up and it hit this right here exactly. Yep. So it hits this down candle. Boom displacement. So you go up. Boom displacement. Up again. Come back down. Once you come back up and you rebalance from that displacement. I should have looked at the hour a while ago because now we're going to see the dollar just fall. Something just went out. I think one of my lights just went out. I think it's time for a bathroom break anyway. Be right back, guys. Just like I thought it would. This is what I was kind of expecting for the pound. Looked like it'd be making a rally, getting everybody to buy. It's gonna pull back, and then it's gonna hit the area that I thought it would. And then it's gonna buy. So it likes to play these games just right before open uh, to get people guessing. They don't know whether to buy or sell. They start switching directions. Especially once it gets close to, you know, resistance. It looks like it's going to sell. It's not going to, though. At least I don't think it's going to. This looks like a really good buying opportunity for the pound. It just keeps breaking structure. There's no lower lows I'm not seeing any bearishness in it at all <sighs> hmm 
Daily Forks says, no, says sell gold. 1857, stop loss, 1860. Just the exact opposite of what I said. So I wouldn't be surprised if it gets above 1860.